Hey guys, this is Super Simple Fixes, and today we're going to be showing you the inner workings of a Rainbird 5000 sprinkler head. Um, the original sprinkler head basically looks like this one. It's got this casing around it, uh, but what we did, we actually unscrewed the casing so you can actually see the inner workings of the whole thing, right? So there you go. So that's how we pulled that out. Just to show you what it looks like here. Um, all right, so basically we have three little entry points here. We've got the little key that will basically allow you to, on that little entry point, give it a little turn so that you can pull. You turn it so that you can actually pull the sprinkler head up so that you can make your adjustment that you need to make. The round part right here adjusts radius. So round for radius. You're going to see the little plus and minus sign. Take a little flathead screw, screwdriver and you turn it in the direction that you want while the sprinkler head is up so that you can make the adjustment. All right. You can do it while it's down. You just can't really tell how far you're going to go. Um, in making the adjustment, if you want to increase or decrease that radius, you want to go back to the starting point. Otherwise, you're going to go ahead and jam the whole thing up. So start at the starting point, go plus or minus, right or left, and then you can go ahead and see where you're at, right? So we always start back at the starting point. point. Otherwise, you uh, get it all jammed up. All right. And then we've got the last entry point, which, why don't we turn this back over here so that we can see it. Um, this is water flow. So the little pointed area here, the little arrow, adjusts water flow. And you'll see why, because there's a little screw right here that when we put the little screwdriver, the flathead screwdriver in there, and you turn it right or left, that screw either goes up or down. And that's going to increase or decrease your water flow. Right? So he turns it one way, you're going to see the screw go down. He turns it another way, you're going to see the screw go up. Obviously, the more, uh, the less the screw is there, there's more water coming out. And that's how you adjust that particular part of the Rainbird 5000. All right, so that is the inner workings of the Rainbird 5000. You just got to make sure that you have this little key so that you can pull that up, give it a little turn and pull that up. And you'll also need a little flathead screwdriver to make your adjustments. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great rest of the day.